what's up guys Darius here back with another minecraft video and today we have a very special video because today the first official part of caves and cliffs just released so we've got the full uh, part one of the update today and today we're going to be going over the stuff that it adds so if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe and turn the notification bell so you never miss any other videos and if you have any suggestions for videos i could do in the future make sure to leave them in the comment section below without keeping waiting any longer let's get on with today's video so guys first thing we know about caves and cliffs is apart from what you can see here the new blocks there's also Tinted, wait, tinted glass? I thought that was already there. Oh well, so I don't think there's any more armor. No, sadly not. No more tools, but there is the spyglass. He did change the clock as well, which obviously you can see here works like this. Uh, where is, wait, did they not add it? I thought they added the scoped crossbow. But I guess not. No, no scoped crossbows. But the obvious thing about caves and cliffs is that they obviously changed the caves and mountains of the world. So, let me see if we can find a mountain. I can't really find a, one of those big mountains. There is a mountain right here, but it's not one of the big ones. But there are goats now, as you can see right here. There's some goats. And on the surface, you can now find copper ore. But let's drink a potion of night vision. Uh, potion of night vision. Oh. Potion of... No. Night vision. And go into the caves, which is the most important part. So here we can see one of the new mobs, which is the axolotl, and you can already see the changes to the caves. They're much bigger, much more extensive, as you can see. And yeah, the ore textures have changed. There's now a new block called Blackstone. No, Deep Slate. Sorry, Deep Slate. And they also added Deep Slate ores, as you can see. And here you have the iron, here you have emeralds, for example. And they also added a new ore that's gold, if you can't tell. What is this? They also added an, a new ore, which is the amethyst. Which, I have no idea where it is. It's not there. Because I don't know why, but I heard from one of my friends that it spawns in the void. Obviously, that is impossible, but... Yeah, they added these new amethyst caves, which I'll just show you the block here. We already found a ravine. So yeah, the caves have changed. They're much, they're much bigger now. Much more fun to explore. But I want to find a new, a new mountain range. And once we find one of the new mountains, we'll get into the, the up, the um, the items and stuff. But maybe they just put goats and that's it for mountains because I can't really seem to find oh I think that's one of the higher mountains I think so so yeah uh, new items we are you obviously have the deep slate ores we have copper which we have block called raw iron raw copper raw gold amethyst blocks budding amethyst a copper block and then we have the copper which can change stages depending on the, the sunlight I no, I think when the days pass it changes so here we can see for example with the cut copper when let me see let me get the, the rest no, that was the same thing I just got. Alright, so here we have the raw iron block, raw copper block, raw gold. Then here we have the amethyst. 
and the budding am amethyst. As you can see, they make sounds, the amethyst blocks. And the actual amethyst uh, decoration block, I think it is. Yeah, here we are. The amethyst. I think they made sounds. Oh, they make sounds. And Amphist, I, I'm not sure what it's used for, actually. They still haven't added a use for it. Also, they've added this, called the Glow Item Frame. And they've added Dripstone, obviously. But the Glow Item Frame, I haven't seen it before, but I believe, as the name states, that if you put the item frame and it's behind it, does it glow? Let me set the time tonight. Time set midnight. Oh wait, I have night vision on. Uh, let me drink some milk to take the night vision off. So no, it doesn't really glow, but it's called the glow item frame. So I don't really know what it does except for change the, the frame of the item frame. But let's set the time back to day and see what else we have. Here we have the dripstone, which can go up or down. And if you make a construction, like what I'm going to show you now, this is a dripstone block. If you do something like this, wait, let's go one higher. Something like this, do like this, put a cauldron right there, put dripstone there, I believe this is how it works, wait, sorry, didn't mean to do that, put dripstone there and take a water bucket. It should it should slowly leak down in yeah so water droplets will start forming and will leak into the cauldron which eventually will start filling with water which is a really cool feature i think it's a very fun thing so once once it's full it, it will fill up with the first layer of water soon i believe but yeah, we might revisit the cauldron at the end of the video to show you how that looks. Obviously, then we have the different coppers. Here we have cut copper, exposed co cut copper, weathered cut copper, which are the different stages that it goes through. And then we have the white ox uh, wax oxidized copper. And all of these soon become, soon go from this to this. Uh, if you build your house out of copper, which I think is really cool. Um, what else do we have? We have chisel deep slate and deep slate, which are the new blocks. Uh, do they replace blackstone? Because I haven't seen blackstone. I think they do. Mm, black? Oh no, blackstone is still here. Oh good, I love the blackstone. But yeah, here we have the different types of deep, deep slate blocks, which look very cool. And usually in every... Where is this supposed to be? Because in every chiseled block, it's supposed to show a mob. Some sort of mob, but I'm not sure what this is. So, speaking of mobs, we have, apart from this, we have raw gold, amethyst shards, all this new stuff. We do have new mobs which are oh it's not here yet but we do have the goat and the axolotl and these will actually help you fight ender guardians in elder guardians let's see how the cauldron is going not yet elder guardians in sea temples so we have the goat and the axolotl in this new update Ow, oh, sorry. And then we have obviously the different the different deep slate ores and copper. And copper. And then we have 
moss, which people are saying is a new form of insta mining. So yeah, here we have the different stuff. The different the new plants that are in the sun. With the plants we have the moss. The moss carpet and the moss block. So people are saying that the moss block is gonna be the next auto miner because if we get some I don't know if it still works people were saying it when they were like testing the snapshots but for example if I go underground one moment hit a cave once I get down there well, actually I could break through it right here if you plant the moss block and put bone meal wait does it not work anymore well, that's sad. Ah, yes, it does. So if you do that, then moss is easy to break. It actually mines away at the cobblestone. But I don't think it breaks ores. No, so it doesn't break ores. But then you can break it and mine much faster than what you usually would do. So that's very useful for a Minecraft block. So in your survival wor worlds, from now on, I recommend getting some moss so then we have the moss then we have the big the small drip leaf which for some reason I can't place down why not do I have to place on stone why can't I place the drip leaf oh it has to be a moss I think yeah so we have the small drip leaf and then we have the big drip leaf, which these can be used to stand on as well, I think. Yes, so they act as like blocks. But once you step on them, then they break. So it... W oh, what? What is that? Oh, it can use to be like... Can you use it to crouch? I mean to... Oh! That is so cool, so you can use it to, to like, uh, what's it called, uh, I, I forgot what it's called, but, so it goes down and then it goes back up, oh, that's a really cool thing, and we have hanging roots, which I'm gonna just build, like, stone thing right here, put, like, moss for good measure, yeah, so we have roots hanging from the ceiling, oh, and you can make the drip leaf grow to as high as you want, both of them. And a small one becomes a big one once you grow it. So, yeah, those are the plans. And I think there's not that much left to the, the show. There is dripstone blocks, tough, which is a new thing, calcite as well. Uh, deep slate, there's more deep slate variants over here. Apart from, obviously, the deep slate ores, which we already saw back in the thing, but I will show them. The changes to the ores and their drip leaf variants. Also, obviously, now they added copper, which is for now used as a building material. I'm sad that they didn't really add more weapons and armor, but I guess with the introduction of netherite, it makes sense. So, here we have all of the different drip, uh, all of the different deep slate ores, with my favorite one being the either emerald or diamond one because they look amazing didn't change that many textures as well they only changed the textures for ores oh wait so you have deep sleep redstone deep sleep emerald deep sleep lapis and deep sleep eye uh, diamond do what the ores look like and Apart from that, I really don't think there is much more to show. There's not that much things in decoration that are new. Except for, oh, obviously, you can't forget the candles. Which can be used as a light source. Which I'm going to put right here. You can make clusters of candles as well. And I don't know how to light them. Maybe with flint and steel. Ah, yes. With flint and steel, you light them. And I suppose they go out after a while. Oh, you can turn them off by just right-clicking them. So that's cool. The interaction candles, I don't think they burn you. No, they don't. 
And apart from that, there's nothing new in transportation or redstone. Apart from obviously the spyglass, which is the newest tool, lets you see far away. And also, as one YouTuber pointed out, oh look, uh, amethyst started growing on this. You can also zoom in on blocks. I don't know how useful that would be. But yeah, you can zoom in and see what one pixel is. So, uh, yeah, that ends our video on the newest stuff of the of the Caves and Cliffs update part 1. Obviously, as you people already know, uh, the Warden is going to be coming out in probably part 2, which is a new mini-boss that you can fight. No, I think he actually is a boss. Or a mini-boss, I'm not sure. And also, as you can see here, the cauldron thing did work. Now we have... It almost full and you can use water bottles to recall uh, wait bottle you can obviously use bottles to collect the water I think oh what happened oh it didn't collect it but I'm sure that's what it's used for so yeah um hope you enjoyed this video I will be keeping you up Minecraft offers as well as part two of the Cleaves and Cliffs updates, so make sure you're ready for that because I'm sure it's not gonna be long before we get it. Um yeah, if um hope I see you in the next video and Darius out. Bye bye.